Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on December 10, 2011, and it's 8.42 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Today's topic, Free Agent Diaz. You remember two months ago I did a blog about a San Antonio judge that locked up a Border Patrol agent for doing his job. He made an arrest. He arrested a 15-year-old, among others, that had about them 300 pounds of marijuana, and he arrested them in our country, okay? That's his job. That's what he does. That's why the Border Patrol and the DEA are out there trying to fight an enormous drug war that we cannot win as long as we have judges like the San Antonio judge that locked up Agent Diaz for two years for handcuffing a 15-year-old boy too tightly. It, look, if you're caught with an ounce of marijuana in Birmingham, Alabama, and you resist, you'll still go to jail. But do you think when you resist that they're going to tie you with a wet noodle to keep your wrist from getting hurt or abuse you or slap you with a powder puff to keep from leaving marks? This is what this apparent slimeball judge in San Antonio wants. What do you expect when you have someone with 300 pounds of marijuana on them? What do you expect? In my opinion, this judge is nothing but an Obama ass kisser. Excuse my French. But that's what he is. Charges brought up on Diaz were frivolous. They were unwarranted. He had already been cleared by Homeland Security. He had already been testified on his behalf by DEA agents and other Border Patrol. But now they say, well, he not only handcuffed him too tight with ties, he also kicked him and dropped him, trying to get him to tell, get the 300-pound mew to tell the agent where he had the other marijuana stashed, which was nearby. All this is BS. All this is part of being a cop. If in our country someone is going into the judge's office or waiting outside in a car and he's got a gun, and if somebody finds out about it, what are you going to do? Kiss his butt? And not say, hey, I know you got more guns. Where are they? You know, you're sitting here ready to send 300 pounds of marijuana into children all over Texas. Or you're sitting here in the car outside the courthouse with a gun in the open. Where are the other guns? I mean, you don't kiss their butt. You got to find out how to protect your country, how to protect the citizens. What I said may not make a hill of beans difference or like what to half of you out there, but the fact is sometimes you use different measures to get the truth to prevent others from being hurt in the future. And this is ridiculous. Look, go to freeagentdiz.com, sign, and let's get this boy released. And I do want to say Michelle Bachman is working on his release right now. While Rick Perry is still out there dancing around and making corny jokes and trying to make people laugh because he wants to be president. While 
On the other hand, I don't even think he cares if Diaz is locked up. The point is, Rick Perry, get out there and take care of your agents. They work for the state. They work their butts off to try to save our country from drugs. And you're not doing anything to help free this boy. Rick Perry, go free him. And thank you, Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman, I'm sorry. And Glenn Beck. He had Diaz's wife, Linda, on some time back. Glenn Beck is trying to get his release. Everybody is. Everybody sees that the judge is wrong. He overrode the Homeland Security and he locked this boy up. Seven-year veteran. Six children and a wife. Judge, shame on you. We don't want you back in office. When you're out, you're out. Go away, judge. We don't want you. You're rotten to the core. You're just like Obama. And Fast and Furious, Holder, you're responsible. Holder, you don't think these FBI agents and DEA and CIA did this without your okay. You dreamed it up. You need to take the fall. Law enforcement in this country, I don't mean law enforcement, I mean the heads are headless. They're all Obama cronies. Who's going to take the fall this time? You can pick some man that's worked his butt off like they did the two agents that were locked up and they'd still be there if Bush hadn't released them? What's wrong with this whole picture? What's wrong with this whole border issue? Either open the friggin' border doors and shut up, buy the drugs, let them bring them, let them shoot their way through, or take a stand against it. You can't have but one of them. Americans do not want these drugs in our country, and we do not want one more agent locked up for a BS thing like a handcuff is too tight. Jody Wolf exposed.